What was the most fucked up thing you saw in school? Saw a girl stomp on another girl's jaw with her high heel boot for looking at her boyfriend at the next lunch table over. I heard she had to get her jaw wired. A guy literally shitting on a teacher's desk. What's up? What's up? Crapped on your desk, dog. Back quotes up with that. A kid clipped the tip of his tongue off with a pair of safety scissors after someone dared him to. One of my brother's friends cut the very tip of his nose off cause someone dared him to. Edit, his nose is just a little bit flat at the end as far as I know, I haven't seen him in years, but it was a stupid dare and a funny story to tell now. A kid hung himself on a playground our senior year. I hear his brother found him. This all happened a week after two of the brother's friends, also seniors, died when they wrapped their classic Mustang around a tree near the HS. Made for a rough senior year to say the least. These two kids got into fight at my school. Somewhere during the tussle one kid lost his balance and on the way down through the meanest uppercut ever. He connected on the other kid's bare teeth and pushed them into his gums. He fucked up his own hand really bad. Blood just everywhere and no teachers in sight for like another 3 minutes. This is some Mortal Kombat x-ray vision shit. Someone had taken a massive shit, it was larger than a coffee cup in width and considerably longer. So large it was impossible to flush. People were lined up into the halls to see this monstrosity, including faculty. You know it's a small town when, when a turd calls that much attention. Nobody had a poof knife. My middle school teacher did a thing where we could bring our pets to school. A kid in my class got attacked by a macaw after he tried to grab it off a desk so he could play with it and had to go to the hospital to get stitches. I was suspended and grounded for bringing a macaw to school. It was a teacher approved project, doesn't seem fair to me. When I was 8 we were making cookies in class and they gave us square cheese graters to make chocolate chips with because they didn't trust us with knives, a fair judgement. Some kid was holding a few graters and pretended to be a robot, this girl shouted at him because he wasn't a robot and proceeded to take one of the graters and grate his hand. Lots of blood happened and then a pair of twins both fainted. The fuck? What happened to the person who tried to grate the kid's hand? Saw a kid throw a pickleball paddle at a gym teacher. Knocked her unconscious, blood everywhere. He was suspended for some time, was an asshole. That's actually really bad. Was she okay? Concussion and stitches. Paddle clocked her right in the forehead. I have a vivid memory of her clutching the padding you see on gym walls as she went down. She was older, so you could tell after that she was a bit uneasy. A kid jumped over the balcony to try and beat the rush on mashed potato day. He broke both his legs. Did not get his potatoes. Took me too long to realize mashed potato day is probably just the day your cafeteria serves mashed potatoes and not some kind of big yearly mashed potato event at your school. It was a rival football game and the stands were packed. A section of the old wood bleachers collapsed, and 20 or so students went to the hospital with numerous broken bones, concussions, and lacerations of various degrees. During the same game, I saw a guy get hit so hard in the leg that it shattered, and both bones were showing. Poor kid ended up in a wheelchair for the rest of the school year. I know it has nothing to do with your comment, but it reminded me about a classmate who had his leg broken and had to use a wheelchair. An earthquake happened, and he was left all alone in the classroom while everyone else evacuated. I was in 9th grade. One of our classmates got drunk, stripped and streaked the lunchroom, gymnasium, basically any place crowded. The staff was afraid to tackle a naked teenager, so we all got an eyeful. Mexican gang member stabbed another Mexican gang member in the neck with a pencil, in class. It was 8th grade, he lived. Jew and Wick. Some dumbass kid stuck a pair of tweezers in an old outlet that didn't even have a circuit breaker so idk how he didn't die. Some girl broke up with a guy so he smeared his shit on her locker and pissed all over it. What's with all the shit stories in this thread? A kid in my school year stabbed one of my friends in the back. Not verbally, I mean with an actual kitchen knife. We were 11. 
when I was 9 someone stabbed another kid in the back with a maths compass. Just randomly with no real motive or logic. A couple fucking in the dumpster behind the cafeteria. For the rest of the year, people would walk up behind the Jude crinkling paper and asking if it was getting him hard. Asterisk JUST to add a bit, 4 or 5 of my friends and I stumbled upon this event while we were coming back on campus and one of them went to throw his trash away. It got around the school pretty damn fast. It's probably a good thing that I'm old enough that the smartphone wasn't a thing when I was in high school because there's a good shot that one of the group would have been dumb and taken a picture that included a 17 year old having sex. Like physically in the dumpster, or just behind it in some sort of enclosure? Inside the dumpster. Where the trash belongs. Middle school, I was chilling in the band room and I look out to the hall to see a kid with some sort of liquid coming out of his eye. Later I found out some kid stabbed his eye with a pencil. Someone's phone blew up in our school courtyard. Rest of the day smelt like battery juice. This post was sponsored by Samsung Note 7. A phone that gives you a bombastic feeling. In first grade a boy pulled his pants and underwear to bellow his knees and laid down on his back, then a girl spat on him. I don't remember why, but I will never forget that sight. Two fetishes were born on that day. There was a girl I was friends with who had developed early and had pretty big boobs and considered thick for a fifth grader. Hanged with a group of 5 or 6 girls, most of the girls in this group were short, skinny, and the pretty ones of the class, so she stuck out from that group. During recess these 5 girls ganged up on her and pulled down, sometimes ripping her shirt exposing her chest, and laugh cause they thought it was funny. She'd fight it, and tell them to stop, but they'd do it even more sometimes pinning her arms to the side so they could. She ended up hanging out with me more, and finding different friends in middle school. Jesus fucking Christ. This is just straight sexual assault, these were her friends and they were pinning her down, and pulling her shirt down. Two guys in my class, would always race to the door, when the bell rang and try to get the other one late. One day one of them made it in class with a couple seconds to spare, so he whips around, and slams the door closed. I sat in the front of the class at the time and all I see is a pointer finger shoot out from the hinge side of the door and bounce onto one of those metal shelves. The kid began screaming outside the door and my teacher, being the kind lady she was, ran to the door to see what had happened, but before she can get there, I guess she saw the finger and let out a whimper and collapsed to the ground. Mind you, this was a matter of seconds and now everyone in my class was alert, but before anyone could react, the kid runs into the classroom and yells my finger. And sure enough there was only a bloody nub where his pointer finger got cleanly cut off. All I remember after that was the other kid began to panic and get more hysterical than the guy who got his finger cut off. Shock is one hell of a drug lol. By now, a bunch of other kids were up and yelling outside the hallways for help while I got some tissues for the kid to help the bleeding. In the end the kid went to the ER and actually got the finger 90% fixed. He says he still can't feel some parts of that finger, but he was fine. The teacher ended up going to the nurse's office and ended up fine. I know she went home for the day so overall the day was a 6 tenths. Got less homework. TL. Doctor. Kid got his finger cut off and door. Teacher passed out. Both ended up fine. Edit. Spelling. The boys in my class bred mold in one of the lockers. They managed to get milk so moldy. Some yellow fluid was all around it. I did that, but to a much milder degree a few years ago in 6th grade put a carton of grape juice and left it there for a couple months, and when I checked on it there was some black mold, or whatever. They had bread in there for a whole year. You could smell the mold everywhere near the lockers. A girl was coming back from a doctor's appointment and wasn't there to hear that we couldn't get out equipment for recess. She opened the door, grabbed something and went to leave. The wind kicked up and slammed the door on her hand, and she lost her finger. They rushed her to the hospital and they sewed it back on and eventually it was back to normal, but that was the most fucked up thing I had seen. I actually remember that happening to someone in the daycare my mom put me in. Needless to say I didn't stay in that daycare for very long. Nothing that I personally saw at my high school was disturbingly fucked up. 
just weird. Some kid smuggled in a bunch of onions and clogged all the downstairs toilets with them. Who the hell does that? A girl with gilimia tried to shout down a spiral staircase, but because her gag reflex was so weak she vomited from a great height instead. Oh the splash. Emerald splash. Having a guy who killed his wife then come to the school and held my class hostage to try to force the school to give him his son so he could kill him. He was finally caught on his way to kill his parents. Edit. Another thing. Kind of. My chemistry teacher, years after I graduated, worked at the school with his wife. They had adjoining classrooms. He shot and killed the vice principal after school. He was in a beating with him and the union rep because he was accused of inappropriate contact by a female student. Went out to his car to get his gun. Came back and killed the VP. Edit. Link to second story. First story was in 1975. Live.com link. I think I've heard of this story before. I have told it before. Happened in Chicago. Edit. Apparently this is a common thing. We, entire school, watched some guy jump from 12th floor. Damn, your school has 12 floors? Wayside school gets a little stranger. I was in HS in the 90s. They announced the odds verdict over the PA system. In my school there was a kid, or multiple kids, we don't know, who would shit in a urinal every once in a while. They were known as the urinal shitter. Someone made a meme with the Grim Reaper going to the doors template with all the bathrooms they had done it in, and the Reaper going into the last bathroom, the office bathroom. The meme spread very quickly, and I guess some teacher saw it. Since there is blood in the meme, coming from under all the closed doors, they decided it was a credible threat of violence. They closed the school for two days for safety concerns. Just a super weird story all around. Sounds like a case for the Hardly Boys. I worked at an American school in China a while back. One day, one of the school buses was on the way to campus from the city and there was an accident that students saw. A truck ran over a man riding his bicycle. The students on the bus witnessed the accident and watched as the man lay dying on the road. They were stuck in traffic and couldn't get away from the horrific scene for over 20 minutes. Kids were crying and traumatized. Most of them were elementary school students. There was a lot of grief counseling in the months after that. Wow were you able to do anything to calm the kids down, or were you in shock yourself? Yes, many of us were in shock too. Details given by the bus driver just made the whole situation seem even worse. The bus driver was amazing BTW, he helped calm the students down on the rest of the long drive to school. He was fantastic. According to him, the truck driver drove off, and no police came for a long time, bus driver was Chinese, and radioed to other buses about the accident, and told them to take a different route, and they all monitored to the radio for information about the situation. Anyway, we had some wonderful counselors in the elementary school, and our principal and assistant principal stepped in to help as well. The students were more in shock to begin with, rather than openly upset and crying by the time they reached school, again, thanks to the great bus driver who had a wonderful rapport with the students. Thankfully, there were not many students per bus. I think that bus was one of the larger buses, but it still only had 10 to 12 students, compared to American buses which hold 40 to 50 students at least. The school did a good job communicating with parents right away, so they knew what happened, and got some information about what the school was doing to help. In the end, while all students were monitored on an ongoing basis, only a few showed need for weekly sessions with one of the counselors over the course of the next few months. It was crazy, and I wonder about those kids and what they remember. It had to be scarring, and our scope of care was limited. We just tried to keep them in their regular routine as much as possible and watch for any signs of social withdrawal, etc. I had a Scottish teacher and an Irish teacher in 5th grade, and they were great mates, I got along well with both of them as well, so I as I was leaving for the weekend I went and told them to have a good weekend. They told me the same. Anyway, when I got to school on the Monday, neither was there, which was odd. Then the next day the same story. 
This went on for about a week, and I was starting to get worried. Then about a week after, we had an assembly, where we found out that the Scottish teacher was a fugitive. What happened was on the Saturday, after I wished them a good weekend, they went out for a party and got drunk. They then went over to Irish teacher's place, where they got into an argument. Scottish teacher got pissed and punched Irish teacher, who had heart problems, in the chest. He promptly died. Scottish teacher left, got his fiance, and fled the country, presumably back to Scotland. We were in 4th grade and class just let out for a 5 minute break. I was with a group of girls and we walked into the bathroom. On the far wall was a giant ring of shit painted in the shape of a heart. There was even visible and disguised food in the faces that, for some reason, is burned into my memory. There was a kind of a widget. The principal called out students in the hallway, one by one, to question the kids. No one confessed as far as I remember, but there was a lot of suspicion surrounding a boy who liked to talk about buds and flatulence. I'm not even sure that he did it, but make too many asshole jokes in class and something like this happens, you are suspect hash 1. You mean suspect hash 2? There was one kid in my high school that everyone bullied relentlessly. He was pretty overweight and nerdy, but a good kind hearted person in general. One really popular girl, possibly hottest and meanest in the whole school, decided to humiliate him, so she seduced him, and told him to wait for her in the bathroom stall. When she met him over there she lifted her shirt, and told him to drop his pants. When he exposed himself she pulled out her phone, and snapped a picture then sent it to everyone she could telling everyone he was creeping on her and flashed her. He got suspended, and was gonna be prosecuted. Few days later he hit her with his car leaving her paralyzed, and then killed himself. Everything in that story, is so fucked up. Some kid kept shitting in the sink every week, and they had to keep cleaning it up. One day I walked in the bathroom and someone had put shit on the wall. Had some girls in my high school, who were creating works of art in the same fashion. They were deemed the feckle phantoms, and were never caught. Saw three little dudes try to jump this massive mountain of a guy in the cafeteria. He fended them off pretty good till the teachers who were football coaches managed to break it up. I saw the pet teacher getting a heart attack during class and dying. It was fucking scary. Half the teachers at my school are old, some 80 plus, so it is inevitable that will happen at my school one day. They train all the students how to use a defib and do CPR which I personally think all schools should do anyway. Edit. Okay maybe they are actually more like 70 just look older but still. Didn't actually see it, but the most fucked up thing that happened in my school was the time a sophomore videoed a special needs kid jerking it off in the bathroom stall from above in the stall next to him. There was a bathroom at my school near the special ed hall that nobody liked to use. The story was that occasionally during 7th period this special ed kid would go into one of the stalls and start loudly jacking off. One day I was in the bathroom taking a shit, 7th period because I'm a dumbass and didn't believe it and this kid walks in and gets into the stall next to mine. He then proceeds to start jacking off and making loud unintelligible noises. Being an avid reader of green text at that time in my life, there was no way in hell I was leaving my stall till he was gone. I waited like 15 minutes of him making post nut noises before he left, without washing his fucking hands. I was mortified, and I decided to walk a lot longer to the next closest bathroom instead of using that one again. Watch two girls get into a fight. One girl had a bunch of ear piercings, and was wearing so many hoops it looked like chainmail. The other girl got her on the ground, grabbed those hoops and pulled. Hard. I will never forget the scream. The rings didn't give, but her ear sure as hell did. Blood everywhere, the girl standing over her like a goddamn psychopath holding a very recognizable ear in the air above her head. It was fucking Mortal Kombat in real life. Girl fights in school were always nuts. My very first day of high school two girls got in a fight. They were punching each other, clawing at their faces, and ripping each other's weave out, and a teacher came to stop them. Well this teacher was rewarded with a shot to the kidney, and he got dropped. What an intro to high school that was. 
I had a friend that was allergic to so many things he had to eat the same thing every day that he brought from home. I literally mean every day for years. He had a very bad day failed a test some things happened at home. We met up at lunch and he had two slices of pepperoni pizza. He told said today seems like a good day to die and proceeded to wolf down both slices. I had never seen him so happy. I walked him to the nurse's office as he ballooned up. He was hospitalized for two weeks. He never regretted the decision. That's kinda funny, just because he had no regrets, but damn it's sad that schoolwork pushes people in that direction. A girl had diarrhea and was wearing tights and sitting in class and the tights started getting really really lumpy, but she didn't get up to go to the bathroom. What? The? Fuck. I and a bunch of other kids came upon the corpse of a kid who had committed suicide on the school premises the day before, which was a Sunday. He had shot himself in the head in the nice landscaped area that was designated as the official socializing area for the grade 12 students. He was in grade 12. It was established later that he had had some gripes with other kids in his grade and his teachers and was overall depressed and nihilist. That is why he chose for his body to be discovered by school students slash personnel to make his death have a lasting impact on those he considered his enemies. It was very early in the morning and still fairly dark. When I arrived there was only 6 other people already there, 2 of them girls who were crying. Eventually there were some early bad teachers on the scene and they phoned the police and began chasing away other kids, blocking off the area. I got to see him though. It was not a very grisly scene as it was a neat shot through the temple, but there was a very large amount of dried blood that had run like a river down the pavement to a grassy patch where it stopped. Just some extra information, in my country schools are not one big building like the American schools on TV. Our schools are more open air due to very mild winters, so instead of one big building we have a bunch of smaller classroom blocks spread out across gardens and sporting grounds. So the body was easily missed by the groundskeepers who arrive early and unlock the gates. So fucked up on a funny way, two guys were yelling in the hallway and it was about to come to blows. Guy 1 goes back to swing at guy 2 and proceeds to miss by mile into another girl. Girl kicks guy 1 square in the balls, he falls back into another student and then it dominoes into the crowd that had gathered around. The teacher that was in the way came running up and slipped on something and went into the air and landed straight on his back. I swear it was like something in a movie no one was really hurt but got that series of events was timed perfectly. No one was really hurt, except for the guy that got kicked in the balls I assume. The troubled kid had a panic attack because of a teacher, I think he had some issues at home. He was quiet, talked to no one, he always fought when people bothered him, he was something. Well anyways there was this teacher, she was really strict and got aggravated easily, let's call her Mrs. Whale. We used to call her that, but she had asked him a question and he refused to answer, his head down looking at his empty paper, the teacher exploded on him telling him stuff, like you will never be anything in life, and do your parents even love you, he sat next to me, and I saw, that he clenched his fists and started, to shake, he tried to say something but it all came out to be gibberish, because he broke down right there on his desk no one really knew him. So we didn't know what to do, we all just sat there as the teacher kept on insulting him, not caring that he had started to shake. A nearby teacher heard all the commission, and came to check on us and saw it, she calmly talked to the still yelling Mrs. Whale outside as we just awkwardly sat there watching this kid break down, we did nothing, I really wish I would have done something, but I was frozen in place. After Mrs. Whale calmed down the other teacher helped the kid out to the office, we never saw that kid and Mrs. Whale after that. They said Mrs. Whale had retired early, but I don't think so. No surprise they tell the student body that she retired out of shame when she was really fired lol. Kinda like that one story, how that guy whose job laid him off, but labeled him as promoted, just to make them look good. Many years ago I sat next to a kid in high school who went on to kill his mom. He would always bring in photos of homemade bombs from 2 liter bottles flamethrowers from squirt guns, etc. 
I thought it was the coolest thing, and was so impressed by it until later on when I received recognized I was encouraging a 2B murderer to keep being violent. Thanks for watching. Do you have something to share? Leave it in the comments. Please like and subscribe for more edit readings. Links mentioned in this video can be found in the description. Have a great day.